Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us for Cooking with the Count. Today we're going to do the Irish favorite, corned beef and cabbage. We're going to have our red potatoes. It's going to be really good. Uh, it's a simple recipe, just nice and slow. Okay, let's run through our ingredients. Red potatoes, nice big carrots, onions, Dijon mustard, cabbage, four cups of beet broth, our seasoning that came with the corned beef, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and another onion to put underneath. I like to do that so that the corned beef isn't sitting directly in the pan. It actually sits on the onions. Now we're going to add our four cups of beef broth. This is going to cook for about three hours or until fork tender. The one thing about a, about a, a corned beef is uh, I never turn on and say, yep, it's going to cook in three hours. If it gets out, it's tougher. And if it's tougher, leave it in there. Even if you got to cook it for another hour, it should just literally be really tender when you're done. Now we're going to take our corned beef, the flat cut, as you can see, and I want to get those onions this time to float on me. Come on. There we go. And I want to lay this right on those onions, like so. Now I'm going to take my Dijon mustard and spread that nicely over the top. Then we'll add our seasoning packet right on top of that. But this should make a very tender and juicy corned beef. Now all the other ingredients, this is going to cook for about two hours. After two hours, then I'm going to add the potatoes and the carrots and the cabbage. and uh, let it finish cooking. Otherwise, it'll be too well done. The, the potatoes will be mush and everything else for that matter. So, and now our brown sugar. You don't have to get too fancy with that. And last but not least, our seasoning packet. That'll blend right in with the mustard and the brown sugar. It's going to be awesome. Now, we're going to cover this and to the oven she'll go. We'll be back in a little while. See you then. And we're back. Well, it's been cooking for about two hours. So let's see what this is going to look like. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. As I say, it's not very brown, but it does look good and smell good. Now I'm going to go ahead, I've already cut my potatoes up and my cabbage, so I want to go ahead and start dropping these in. Just going to put them in there all over and let them... I'm just going to cover everything. It doesn't make any difference uh, whether they're in the broth or not because I will be cooking these open face now and all these beautiful carrots and I'm going to cut these onions just a couple times and just kind of break these up in here. As we like onions and they'll give this an incredible flavor. Now I will go one step further and just give it a little bit of salt on the vegetables at least. And a 
little bit of pepper. That looks pretty good. And, you know, I didn't even check this. Yeah, she's still pretty hard. You know, then I want to break my own rule and uh, put the cover back on for a while longer. And with that, back to the oven she goes. I'll probably keep it in there for another half hour. Then I'll uncover it and let it cook the rest of the way. Probably another half hour to 45 minutes. Um, and she should be done. But we'll see. You never can tell with a, with a corned beef. Anyway, we'll be back shortly. Okay, and we're back. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah. Yeah, see that meat is still hard. So she's gonna go in for a little bit longer. We're gonna cook it until it's tender. So with that, we're gonna leave it uncovered this time. And we'll keep it in there for as long as it takes. You know, my wife had a great suggestion. She said, why don't you add a beard to it? So we're gonna go ahead and add, as I've made corned beef before, and I usually uh, put it in a lager. So I'm gonna add a beer to it. And if it doesn't tenderize it, well, we'll figure out something else. But in the meantime, she's going back in the oven. So, it's out of the oven. This was a tough piece of corned beef. It took forever to cook. But I think we tenderized it, cooking it long enough. It's looking really good. Take a peek at this. Let's see what you think. So I say we plate it up and give it a try. What do you think? Great idea. Yeah? Because yeah. it smells good. Me too. You smell good? It smells oh, good. that smells good. Okay. I didn't say me, I said that. Oh, okay. Anyway, we'll be back in just a minute. We're going to plate this up. It's going to be awesome. Okay, we're back. And it's plated. That looks pretty good. And it smells incredible. And delicious. Yeah. You've got a nice plate there. Yep. Looking forward to getting into it? Mm-hmm. Me too. So with that, thank you for joining us with Cooking with the Count. If you want to find this recipe, it'll be at www.cookingwiththecount.com Please like us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, give us a big, big thumbs, thumbs up, up, and subscribe to our channel. That's awesome. Thank you for joining us. God bless. Bon appetit. And good night. We're going to dig in now. Go for it. That corned beef has to die for. Good night, guys.